Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Democracy 3. We are uh, playing as America and we're trying to turn it into a socialist country and the socialists are, are fairly liking us at the moment. That's a good place to be. Capitalists aren't so keen on us. That's a bit worrying, but hey-ho. Liberals also don't like us, so what can you do, eh? Um, we need to reduce all our sort of private stuff. We want to be completely state-run. Um, let's let's try and work on that. Equality needs to go up as well. Private pensions. Let's try and kill off private pensions. Okay, that's what we need to do. Private pensions is uh, is what we want to kill off. I am very wary about the capitalists. They uh, they are still quite unhappy. Hmm. It worries me a little bit. Positive discrimination, yes, I guess. Sure, let's go for it. Everybody seems to be uh, on the increase in terms of how happy we're making people. Failed assassination attempt, the black power group. Oh my goodness, this is really worrying. Okay, poverty is down though, that is good. Um, also, we're not too popular in the polls. And we only have another seven turns before the election. Goodness me. Why is this not going down? It should be going down. Why is it not? Food price? Food price is pretty low. That's fine. That's alright. I'm alright with it being pretty low. Um, internet crime? That's, that's alright. Ghettos. Ghettos are starting to come down. Immigration is, uh, is hurting is hurting this. It's increasing racial tension. So we want immigration to come down. Okay. Um, border controls, harsher border controls perhaps? It's gonna reduce inequality, but ethnic minorities are gonna be less happy with us. Oh, this is, this is tough. This is really, really tough. Yeah, that high productivity is coming down. There is no way that we can maintain uh, the same levels of productivity that we were, because we we obviously introduced the the labor laws, and that's uh, that's that's decreased our productivity quite substantially. Oh my goodness, this is this is difficult. This is really difficult. We need to work out how to evenly cut back on uh, on all the private stuff, and make sure everybody is is happy at the same time. That's difficult to do. The asthma epidemic, car usage has come down a little bit, but not, not enough. Um, perhaps we can increase bus usage. Subsidize bus passes, perhaps, or introduce some more busy policies. Um, state pensions are at their max, that's fine. We're going to see a massive decrease in private pensions very, very soon indeed. Let's look at equality. What else? Private housing. Private housing. Do we not have state housing? Is that just not something that we have? State housing. Well, let's introduce that right now and let's fund it to the max. Capitalists aren't going to be too happy with us. Poor and the socialists are going to be. That's fine. Next turn. Okay, so that was quite a popular policy as well to introduce. The Black Power Group. Goodness sake. We are living on the edge here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're building up quite substantial reserves. We have zero debt. Our expenditure is, is starting to go back up. Our income is coming down as the global economy is falling, but that's just the way things are going to be. Um, capitalists are going to become a problem soon. The Black Power Group. The Revolutionary Army and the Black Power Group. Ethnic minorities, what do they not like? They do not like ghettos. Ah, this isn't good, this isn't good. How do we, how do we reduce vigilante mobs? Um, how do we reduce racial tension, to be honest? Unemployment. Foreign relations increases racial tension. Hmm. Citizenship tests? I think that's probably the right thing to do. Um, I think that should work in a roundabout way to sort of decrease... Um, decrease the ethnic minority unhappiness, although it might not directly. Um, yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. 
Okay, what about drug addiction? Can we can we stop that? I think that's going to reduce by itself over time. So that's that's something at least. Skill shortage. Have we invested in our state schools? I think we have. Yes, we have. It's going to take 12 turns to implement. That's fine. It's coming there. We'll 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 get rid of that eventually. The environment. The environment, the environment, the environment. The environment is is coming up. Hybrid cars initiative. Let's bump that up. Let's do that. Uh, it's only going to cost four political capital, and it's going to be great. Okay, so prisons. What can we do about prisons? It's going to reduce crime further, and it's only going to cost us an extra nine billion. Absolute bargain. Let's do it. How low is our crime actually? Our crime's pretty low, so we don't really have to worry about that. We just need to worry about vigilante mobs, immigration, alcohol abuse is still way too high. I think we probably need to change the the alcohol laws. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Let's bump it up by one level next turn. So that's uh, it's going to be low strength something, whatever that is. Uh, okay, let's do that next turn when we have enough political capital. Field assassination attempt from the Black Power Group again? That's worrying. You are not very loyal, so we'll need to sort you out. Okay, let's just change that alcohol law, and then we can worry about other stuff. Okay, bump that up. Okay. Now, what are we going to sort? The Black Power Group is still a threat to us. Ethnic minorities really do not like us. Their happiness is has gone up, but it's coming back down again. Hmm. They do not like racial tension. How long does it take citizenship citizenship tests to uh, to come into effect? That is going to reduce racial racial tension, but at the same time, it's also going to make the ethnic minorities a slight bit more unhappy with us. So that is that is worrying. State housing that takes 16 turns to implement. Okay, so it's we're really going to be cutting it close to the close to the edge when it terms it comes to introducing policies. Um, internet economy takes off. Corporate exodus. Goodness sake. Okay, we uh, we don't want to change the labor laws, but at the same time, we probably want to reduce the corporation tax that people are paying. It's only a hundred and something billion. Ah, goodness sake. That's uh. That's worrying. Yeah, okay, let's reduce that. Let's lower that, okay? Uh, and that should fix that problem. Another failed assassination attempt. And we had a budget deficit there. Okay, so thank goodness we built up a little bit of a little bit of a war chest in in terms of our reserves as you can uh, as you can see just there we have reserves of cash. GDP just jumped off a cliff there, didn't it? That's not good at all. We need our GDP to recover. We need the global economy to recover as well, quickly. We don't have reserves to last us for, you know, that long. Pollution, that looks like it's going to end soon. And uh, everything's actually not looking too shabby. But at the same time, I am worried by uh, by the ethnic minority sort of stuff. Ghettos, ghettos are going to end soon. Okay? And that is good. That's what we, what, that's what we like to see. Uh, so... I'm anticipating two more turns. How popular are we? We're heading up in popularity. Let's hope that that increases. And we might also have to deal with uh, with members of our cabinet. Curb banking bonuses. We're going to restrict bonuses. Yeah. Unemployment. Unemployment has reached peak. Goodness sake. This is ridiculous. GDP is causing unemployment to be so high. Unemployment benefit. Wow, we're uh, we're paying a lot of money in unemployment benefit. Okay, how popular are we? We're pretty popular, I suppose. We have over the fifty percent mark, which is where we need to be. That's fine, I suppose, but at the same time, could be better. Could be a lot better. Alcohol. We bumped it up. That's fine. That's implemented. Beautiful. This. Is this going to end next turn? If it doesn't end this, if it doesn't end next turn, it's going to end the turn after that. So that is good. Homelessness, wow. State housing takes a long, long time to take effect, so wouldn't be too surprised by that. Um, food stamps, yeah, people like this. That's all right. 
Can we bump the spending of that up? We can't. It's going to cost four political capital. Beautiful. We're only getting 13 political capital per turn, so I think it's probably time for a reshuffle. Yeah, I think it's time for a reshuffle. Let's hire people. Foreign policy. You want... Uh, you're a capitalist. We don't really want any capitalists in our... Okay, you for welfare. You could be welfare. Yeah, let's stick you in welfare. Yep. Here, you can go in welfare. Okay, who, who are we going to have for foreign policy? Uh, trade unionist? Farmers? Yeah, let's have you. Uh, Minister for industry? We can have... Anybody that looks alright. Patriot, religious. We have quite a lot of patriots. Let's have you. I think we have a lot of patriots. Yeah, patriots quite like us, actually. And uh, as you can see, capitalist membership is steadily going down. Steadily. Steadily, I might add. Uh, small business grants. It's going to take a wee while to just iron itself out. That's fine. What else were we going to do? We were going to get back to hiring people, weren't we? Um, tax. Anybody on tax? Conservatives, environmentalist. Environmentalists like us, I think, don't they? Yeah, they do. Let's uh, let's have you. And where were you there? Great. Public services. Liberal environmentalist. Yeah, we'll have you. Law and order. Any more socialists? Trade unionist. Yep. Law and order. We'll have you. And transport. Patriot and a capitalist. We don't want any capitalists. Yeah, let's have you. Why not? Um. Great, so that's that's quite a strong place to be. Pretty happy with, with where we are. Liberals, they don't like us. Okay, that might have been a bad choice, but hey-ho, I'm, sure we'll, uh, I'm sure we'll get over it. Okay, 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 okay. Capitalists, their membership is decreasing. That is good. 23% down from around 50%. That is a good place to be, considering we want to eradicate capitalists from America. Uh, corporate exodus, that is going to go down very soon. That's having a negative effect on our GDP, and capitalists don't like us for it. That's fine. We'll sort it out eventually. We still have an ethnic plot. Ghettos finally have ended. Finally. Pollution has ended, and the rare earth crisis has developed. Oh, beautiful. Foreign relations. Can we increase our foreign relations? Yeah, okay. That's going to sort out the... Uh, the crisis that we're currently having in rare earth metals. Okay, squatters' rights. We're going to give property to squatters. We're running a massive budget deficit here, right? Absolutely massive. Our GDP just hasn't recovered. This is uh this could get could get pretty dicey. Hmm. Even that is still not coming down. This corporate exodus is really hurting us. And uh, and this rare earth crisis is going to absolutely kill our technological advantage. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely going to kill it. That's worrying. Goodness sake. Unemployment. Unemployment is too high. We need to we need to grow our GDP somehow, but we seem to be stuck in a in an endless loop. Street gangs. How is that started? Oh my goodness. Armed police, that's going to reduce street gangs. I suppose we don't really have any, op are there are any other options. Um, I suppose we could probably introduce community policing. That might work. That's probably the right thing to do. Awesome. Let's do it. Introduce that. It's not going to cost much either. How much was it going to cost? It's going to cost only 15 billion. Um, our expenditure is way too high. Way, way, way too high. We're going to need to introduce some new taxes, I think. Are we even going to win this election? I don't think we will. Introduce popular policies. Um, CCTV cameras. Let's do that. Okay. It's going to be close. I hope we do it. I hope we do it. Okay, let's see if we can do it. I'm not so sure. It's going to be close. 
No, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No! Oh, that is such a shame. Oh my goodness. Well, you know what? We tried. America didn't really respond very well to uh, to becoming a socialist country. Uh, education actually decreased. That's a bit disappointing. Health increased by 52%. Very, very happy with that. Equality increased by a quarter. That is nice. As did the environment. The working, wor working week decreased by 40%. Uh, due to mainly labor laws, I think. Bus usage decreased. Car usage decreased again. Nice. Productivity decreased, probably due to the working week. Unemployment increased. Not good. CO2 emissions decreased by over 75%. That is great. That is really, really good. Racial tension actually increased, even though I didn't think it did, but that's fair enough. Air travel decreased. That's not great. Oil demand decreased by half. Poor earnings, middle earnings, and high earnings. Everybody was up, especially the poor earnings. That's awesome. Private healthcare, private housing, private pensions, and private schools all decreased substantially. Also, GDP decreased. So that is uh, that is less than ideal. So uh, so consider this consider this uh, this a blueprint of how how not to run uh, a socialist America. If you'd like to try for yourself, then I'm sure you can. Uh, if you buy the game from the link in the description, then it helps me out as well as it gets you a really cheap Democracy Three game. Uh, and I would say it's well worth it. It's a good game just to play around with. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name has been Opus Potato. If you've enjoyed, then please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.